Hello everyone, it's Stephen Paul from WinExtra bringing you your daily brief for April the 14th, 2011. And uh, we got a full tap of news today. I think we can breeze through. Hey? 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 What? So, uh, where's the loop ferret gone, Hudson? On holidays. <laughs> On holidays? Yes. You mean it's going to make a comeback? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I don't think it should make a comeback. I think you actually look younger than your 678 years uh, with, with the lip ferret removed. 578, then. Oh, 578, yeah. And uh, how long have you had the lip ferret for? 40 plus years. Wow, and you took it off today? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday afternoon. <laughs> How are you going to stroke now? When you when you're attempting to look <clears throat> distinguished, you're thinking, you know. I'll, I'll pretend it's still there. You know how you have a ghost hand if you lose your hand. You know, I have a ghost mustache. You'll have a ghost lip fairy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Folks, and if you think Hudson should uh, grow the lip ferret back, 251-281-8730 or podcast at winextra.com, let us know what you think. Tell Hudson what you think of the lip ferret, and should we have a funeral for it? By the way, and just so that we, we, we you know cover all our bases, uh, Mike in Joint uh, has a question for you. When are we going to get more info on the uh, Beta IE8? I know, seriously, uh, dude, I, I, I got abuse on YouTube from that as well, um, Big Joe says, uh, so Windows 10 comes before IE8 is 1.6 inches thin and renders as many as 5 fishies, I was just so tired recording yesterday, I couldn't think or talk straight, it was ridiculous, it's, the end result was that my performance yesterday was so bad that Hodgson's loop ferret went away and committed suicide. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to some, some quickie headlines here. Uh, we, we talked about this before, that there's a there's supposedly a leaked version of Windows 8 Milestone 1 available in yeah. places where you shouldn't be going. I know where you should be going, but just, you know, be sticking to the uh, legal material. Yes. Anyway, uh, Tom's, Tom's Hardware says it's a fake. Yeah, so somebody at Tom's Hardware, or somebody associated with Tom's Hardware, obviously went ahead and downloaded it um, to see what the Windows 8 milestone one would actually be like. And it turns out it was Windows 7. Yeah. The files Cute. 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 Awesome. Yes. So a lot of people out there probably just, you know, downloaded two and a half gigs of Windows 7 for absolutely no reason and, <laughs> and, and now kicking whoever uploaded that torrent because they're sort of like oh my bandwidth cap you bastards yes um, I'll bet both of us kind of wish we were at the, the, the mix conference yesterday because the attendees for the uh, speak, keynote speech got a free connect I did not know that yep as part of the yeah, as part of the uh, push for the the uh, Connect SDK, which also is being uh, made available very soon. I think you have to sign up for it, but it's it's out there and ready to go. Uh, they gave developers a free Connect. Well, good for them. But my question then is, who at Microsoft do we have to get you to blow <laughs> in order to uh, get you know free Connects and? Review items for the show. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Guys, do you know anybody that would like give out free, free items for in exchange for a free? No, uh, no, no. No job. For no. Now, fer lip ferretless Hudson two five one two eight one eight seven three zero or podcast one extra. No, ding ding. No, no. Uh uh. <laughs> um. Going well along with uh, Connect, Major Nelson is reporting. And by the way, Major Nelson's got a, a did a revamp of their site, and it's looking looks really sharp. Anyway, he's he's got the report out that uh, they've released an update to the Netflix experience on Xbox 360. So you'll be able to use your Connect to. We saw the demos of this yeah. right back when they were first demoing. Yeah, Connect. we're only getting it now. It's kind of like okay. Xbox, stop. <laughs> Xbox, stop. 
Wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Wax on. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> um, this one will really thrill you as well, Ben. Uh, April, May 25th. I can get my Angry Birds on. Who cares? <laughs> With those phone seven users who like Angry Birds. Ah, uh, big care. deal. Hey, you're just a cranky curmudgeon because your lip ferret has gone away. <laughs> um, we've, I, you know, the, okay, first headline, Gartner, Microsoft will have no tablet presence in 2000. This is the same Gartner now that said that, you know, Windows Phone 7, which is, like, will be number two. By 2015. 15. Yeah. Yeah. But Windows will have no tablet presence, even though it's the biggest desktop operating, op, um, operating system out there, even though Windows 8 is just around the corner, we're kind of expecting a beta in September, and even though, you know, Microsoft has this massive influence in the corporate sphere, which means that they're going to be able to push in there because the just a very simple sort of fact that you don't need different systems in order to manage security and all that sort of stuff between your laptops and, you know, user profiles and uh, interoperation. For example, if you use an iPad now in there, many companies are, are sort of saying, okay, well, we have to use virtualization software in order to use Office, and uh, which is still costing us more money. Um, so Windows, Microsoft isn't going to have a tablet presence. Yeah. I, you know, I got What am I missing here? I think the fact... I mean, they're saying, right, that iOS will have 47.1%. Android will have 38.6%. Um, QNX, 10%. WebOS, 3%. And Meagle. Why mention Meagle? At all. That should be lumped in with other. Yeah. Okay? Um, I just... I don't get it. And I also disagree with this Apple having the majority by 2015. Look, here's the problem. Apple makes one operating system for one device, right? Android makes a device, uh, makes an or Google makes an operating system, Android, that will run on many, many devices. So by sheer virtue of the fact that there will be hundreds of Android tablets, they will be number one, just the same as what has happened with Android yeah. on the smartphone. Yeah. Windows 8, I think, has exactly the same opportunity, a far, far better opportunity considering the Windows desktop install system in corporate and home environment mm -hmm. to catapult itself into second place, if not first place, by 2015. Yeah, I, I've gotten to the point now where I, I see any of these reports coming out from IDC or Gartner, and it's like, no, I don't. I don't believe a single so, word. The interesting thing about these analyst reports that you read from IDC and Gartner, right, is that you have to look at who reads, who wrote it. Yeah. Like, these are independent analysts, right? And then you have to ask yourself, okay, who are this analyst's clients? Yeah. All right. Because we saw that happen happen recently with what was her name? She wrote uh, some Sarah, somebody or other, a couple of months back, wrote a report about Microsoft that we slated here mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she was gone yeah so you have to take these things with a grain of salt and ask yourself okay well who is this person's actual client base because obviously they're going to write reports that favor yeah. their client base to some yeah. degree now I'm not saying that that reflects upon Gartner or IDC as a whole I'm saying it reflects upon the individual analysts which in turn does reflect upon the reliability of, of the of the research firm itself. Come on. Well, I think it does, but and it also kind of reflects upon the the, the ridiculous need of the tech blogosphere to instantly report everything without sort of analyzing yeah. it. You yeah. know what I mean? Copy and paste reporting. Yeah. Who analyzed the analysts? <laughs> um. Nokia. Nokia has been in the news lately. Um, Nokia leaks Windows Phone roadmap for 2012. Nokia le leaks Windows Phone roadmap for 2012 
four models, you know, four yeah. models. Um, the W7 being the first being relatively low end Windows Phone 7, and already, you know, people like, uh, where did this report come out of? Infosync. Uh, Infosync slapping it down, yeah. saying, you know, these guys, their phones are going to be first generation while everybody else is pumping out third generation phones. And so, therefore, they're going to flop. <laughs> I have got a slightly different take on that, which is that, you know, these phones are still going to be above the the Windows spec. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's going to matter to home users. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. not going to know the difference between a first generation and a third generation Snapdragon processor. No. Because these things aren't written on the box, even. It's yeah. just, is it Snapdragon? That's it. Yeah. Most Phone users don't even know that to begin with. Yeah. Also, then, there's the fact that the W7, if you just look at the specs, this isn't aimed at the high-end market like uh, like the phones from Samsung, etc. These are lower price point phones. And if you look further down the, mo the roadmap, by the end of 2012, the W7 that comes out at the beginning is supposed to be pretty much reinvented and coming out again at a lower yeah. price point. Yeah, the one piece of news I, I read yesterday in line with this is that there's there's a rumor that the, the chassis 2 of Windows Phone 7 <laughs> will have lower specs. And I'm going, no, no, this is this is not the news I want to hear from Microsoft. I don't want no, it. Because the specs as they stand now, yeah. right? They're good specs now, but next year, they, you know, next year or two years down the line, they will be low in specs. There's no need for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you hear... Um, I mean, we could go into more about, like, you know, the other versions of the phone. Like, the second phone that is supposed to come out is supposed to be very similar to the HTC Sensation 4G, which, again, reiterates the point that there are a couple of generations behind. Um, and then the W8 12-megapixel camera, again, they had yeah. that in the N8 last year. But we know Mango is supposed to come out at the end of this year, mm -hmm. midways towards maybe fall, okay? Mm -hmm. Um which means that nobody will get it until, like, you know, midway through 2012 of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The next generation after that is called Apollo. Apparently. And that's going to be the Windows 8 version. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I, also, I also saw, it too, and, you, and if you watched any of the keynote speeches yesterday, they dropped the 7. It's now just Windows Phone. Yeah, because the platform is Windows yeah. Phone. It, it's kind of silly to say Windows Phone 7 because you're lumping it in. They have to drop the 7 and just say Windows Phone yeah. all the time. That that makes a lot more sense. I just... I don't know. What I'm scared about is if you... If you take all the information that was that went on at Mix yesterday and amalgamate it all together, there was no mention of a single update beyond Mango. Mango. Yeah. Nothing major before this Apollo, which is basically the next platform. Yeah. And that, that doesn't bode well for Windows Phone 7. I mean, there was one or two mentions of minor updates that might come out, you know? Yeah. Might have some SSL stuff or stuff like that, but nothing huge. That doesn't bode well. If Mango is the only big update this year, somebody really needs to start rethinking their Windows Phone strategy. Yeah, well, you know, if, if you've got any ideas out there, folks, about, you know, the, the Nokia roadmap and it's whether it's going to be a flop or not, uh, or any of the other stories we've talked about today, drop us a line at podcast at winextra.com or in the comments uh, on the post here or youtube.com front slash winextra, or drop us a line, um, a voicemail at 251-281-8730. And um, on that note, uh, that's Paul. I'm Steve. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, don't forget to, you know, as Hazen just said, message us with notes of commiseration for the deceased flipper. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>